Why hello there. Uh, this is a door built probably maybe a year or so ago now. Uh, doing a tutorial explanation, uh, you know, standard. Uh, dang, server's being goofy, but you know. Uh, here's the door. You see the sand flying across. Uh, this will seem the size, and then this goes down. Then opening. Sand falls down. Then across. Sand is stored. See here. Yeah, this is going to do up a tiny bit, but it's okay. But yeah, uh, it's tutorial. Uh, it'll be fun, I think, maybe. I hope. I hope you get something out of this. I don't know. So let's go over to the piston layout, I guess. Uh, four pistons here. Piston, like so. Uh, oops. And then double extender here. So this is just going to get your uh, trap door out of the way. So let's go like this. This, these will retract in. This will do a double extension. Like so, and then these will be extend it out, but not this one. So the sand goes down. And then this, or whatever. Uh, that was, you know, oops, my bad. Come on. Uh, yeah, that's how that works. You're gonna have your double here, and then directly under your double to be diagonal pistons like so. This will be your Sand storing pistons, let's push all the sand that way. Then you're gonna get a bunch of glass. 12, specifically. And you're gonna go pistons in the staircase. It's not too far. And then you're gonna have a uh, Siggy piston, sand block, the floor level here, minus one at least. Uh, piston push across, this was three blocks of air between. Then across you're gonna have two pistons like so, and then two more diagonally facing down. These will uh, be part of your storage here. And then you're gonna go a few more blocks, uh, about that many. Uh, th that is too many, I think. Uh, it doesn't matter. <laughs> uh, two, uh, two pistons like this, one piston across, Three more pistons like in a backwards L shape, double extender, piston here. So similarly to over there, you're gonna get this sort of action going with that. And then this is just gonna double extend and push over, single extend, push over, and this just go down. This clears plenty of room for the sand to go wee over there. Oh, this is back out. And then here, you're going to go one, two, one, two, get your super piston, sign block, and then one, two, three, sign block there. Here's two. Uh, sick piston, normal piston, so, you know, it doesn't really matter if you place too many, just break the extra. Uh, obsidian here, uh, obsidian, oh, come on, mouse. My mouse has been buggy, sorry for, about that. Uh, one, two, three, more, and then like that. That is your layout done. Uh, it's not that bad. Uh, but this is a bit, a bit on the jankier side, but other than that, it's not too bad. Pretty standard, I guess. Uh, you can move on to wiring some of this. So we're going to go here. Two observers. Place this. And then you're going to go two observers like so. One, two, three. Block. Uh, dust here. Two, two ticks. And an observer. This will send the sand up from here, up to here. Oops, up to here. And then you're going to detect it. Three observers, block, repeater on one tick. That does that. This, uh, you see how it zero ticks is also directional. So on the other direction, it will just be pushed up and down. Either way, it doesn't matter. Uh, the door is not directional. I've tested it. Uh, but that is something uh, people have asked me about, and it's, ah, it's fine, I swear. <laughs> uh, 
And then you're going to have string here, a diagonal up, and then one observer. One, two, come on. Three. Uh, three dust. One, two. So this is going to uh, detect the flying sand entity, and then once it bonks up against this block, it'll be pushed over and across and stored. So I can test this actually if I were to do this and then power it. See that it goes over. Yeah. And for those who are wondering, uh, can I? Uh, make this all like different stuff or different color sand and whatnot. Uh, no, you cannot because of the just a vast amount of sand stuff that we store. Uh, just no way it would permute properly. Also, within these band blocks specifically, it does a bunch of shifting around, so it just get messed up. Uh, that is unfortunate. Can't fix it sadly. Uh, but yeah, let's fill the rest up of this is sand. Fill this is sand. That's your layout plus. I guess a tiny bit of the wiring done. And yeah. Right, continuing, you're gonna go four out. Pick these as well. Pick all this actually. Gonna get a zero facing here. Downwards, one, two, three. Hopper, one, two, three, four. Up and across. Make sure you place this block here. So that when we have, say, uh, like these the door blocks here it would be nine sand and then the rest here seven last so then if we were to power this it would form a clock oh that's gonna break itself but you get the idea uh that would have worked if i didn't have sand in there it's uh, Place this. Let's retry that. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We can power this piston. As you can see, sand's all gonna do its thing. Ah, yeah. With that will have an obsidian. Just place this here. So also have an effective obsidian there. But yeah, this would fill up. Uh, the reason why I did that is because this obsidian and this line of blocks isn't in place, and then this observer is in here to again block the sand from going too far. But that will come later. So now break the wiring. And that's how we get the no need for a counter, just like make a clock out of it until it stops pulsing. Then to start this clock, we're gonna go down two blocks, place a block. Uh, two like this, make this a uh, slab, or a glass, two vortex, sticky piston, or uh, sorry, one, two, then a sticky piston here, place it up, this will do a following edge, so it's do this, and that delay would come from this doing its thing, and yeah, that would be that section done. From here, you're gonna go into a piston in line with this uh, observer. Then you're gonna go hopper, observer block, and then the dropper hopper. Put any item in this. You're gonna go block, block up with the uh, comparator torch on top. Then you're gonna go block here, dust, and observer. So this will do your toolbox under. And then to make sure that the this comes back up, we're gonna have two observers here. Yeah, that's a double center. Okay, now we have the sand launcher, so we're gonna go down and across, two tick, observer up into a staircase. This has to be uh, immovable so that it doesn't stick to the slime. Then we're gonna go a block over. Uh, two tick, five blocks like this, two tick, two tick, two tick, block up, uh, dust, hopper, one, two, three. If I were to break a few of these blocks and then put the double extender 
uh, this in place. If we were to power this, you'll see that the sand flies. Uh, these are somewhat nice timings. Uh, nothing too bad. I had to brute force these for like 10 minutes before getting something that actually worked. Uh, but yeah, nothing too complicated here. Right, so we can go to set with this section of wiring. So we're gonna go two across, piston, string. I'm gonna get a glass block, push the main cart over into a fence. Then you're going to put this cart here, place a repeater. This will give it the right height, so I can actually power the string, as you see there. One, two, three, four. Observes in the texture shape block, CQPS and uh, observer, on, hopper, observer at the dust, observer across at the block, uh, you're going to want your CQPS and toggle here, so this will do that. It's a bit fast though, so we're going to have a cobweb here, and then go back out. Then to do uh, these four pistons, we're going to have a observer two across, one down. So power these two pistons. This one specifically will have a observer. Observer. Block here, but before we place the block, we need to place the cart. Like so. Slab. So it doesn't go up too high. Block. A plate on it so we can power block here, glass here, to dust the block, sticky piston, observer. So that would take care of those two pistons and then to finish off a double, you know, this uh, piston observer combo. So this will do that. And then if I were to put the four blocks in. this makes sense and now it's clear for the sand to go wee and then obviously if I were to do this it closes up. Right so for the control circuit before we move on I just want to say move this piston went over that's my bad totally missed that you're gonna go three blocks over and then you're gonna have your observer so across the block for the start of the block the piston Two pistons like so. This is going to turn on an observer clock with a uh, dropper, 16 items, with uh, observer, comparator. So this will do, this will turn on, start the clock, items will be funneled from the dropper to the hopper, and then after a while, they'll start flowing back. Uh, we're going to read this with do a block with a comparator on a downward facing observer. Two observers uh, facing this way, block, sticky piston facing downward. This will basically toggle between two of our inputs, the top of which will go to the opening side. So we're going to go piston, observer, observer cross, piston down, like so. For, uh, and that'll start this, pass that up. Then from down here, we're gonna go into a thing here. Dust, two down, one, slab, block, block, and then the hopper. So go down, across, and up to here. Dust on all of that, so then when this block turns down, Gonna go all the way up, power this side. Then to start the main thing for uh, making this the clock for this side, uh, we're going to have an observer facing downwards here with a block. So power our hopper, which is also going to get powered by the uh, observer chain here. This will go into three more observers, into a solid block, obsidian slab and slab, glass glass, whatever, doesn't matter. 
So this will do. Uh, so start the clock, uh, pushing one sand over, fling it, and then as the sand's pushed over, it'll power the same observer chain, and then we'll clock itself. Uh, you can fill this back in. And in theory, that should be the door done. Uh, you can test this with the lever. Oh, yeah, the double extender. Uh, that is simply going to come from a piston and observer. And that's failed because why? Kind of a toggle. Right, so I've managed to forget three things. One, uh, a hopper here it has to be transparent so that this doesn't power. I have obsidian here and obsidian here. So this one is just to prevent this piston from powering at the wrong time because all those blocks can't power. This one is to prevent the uh. So yeah, this is very much important because this is powering a lot during the slime extension. Anyway, that should be everything. Uh, door should close. Everything retracts. Opening. See everything starts to this in here. But yeah, that's your door. Uh, bit scuffed, but whatever. A uh, couple things I don't think I've mentioned. Um, aside from the fact that uh, those two need to be obsidian, uh, these two blocks need to be solid just because. This one doesn't actually. Uh, this one needs to be solid for um, obvious reasons, I hope. And this one can be whatever you want. I just prefer to, it for it to be solid because you know, looks nicer. Mouse might have to be annoying, but uh, yeah. Thanks for watching. Very scuffed tutorial. I <laughs> don't have the energy to re-record fifty times. Honestly, I'm too tired for this. Anyway, goodbye.